One of the most important things a young machinist needs to learn when deciding how to process a part is ironically one of the most overlooked from what I've seen. For instance, whenever you review a drawing for the first time, what is the first thing you think about? You may be thinking, what are the tolerances? What's the material? Or probably the majority of people first think, how am I going to hold it? Sadly, I've seen several times where that is the only thing people focus on. Now all of these things are valid concerns and a good machinist will look at everything, but what is really going to dictate how you process a part is going to be the datum structure. I watched a machinist scrap dozens of parts that we had hundreds of hours in because he disregarded the datum faces and he wrote his program off the opposite side of the part. All of the features machined on that operation measured perfectly off the faces that didn't matter. Now a lot of people might say that how you're going to hold the part is the most important, especially for a mill. But this is where a good machinist will recognize that the obvious way to hold a part may not always be the best way. If you're locating off of features that doesn't matter while your datums are allowed to float part to part, then you may need to look at making a fixture instead so you can locate the datums off of a fixed surface. Or if you can't reach the datums to teach the work offsets, you may machine a qualifying feature that is tied back to the datums to locate off of. Even if the part does allow you to simply hold it in a vise, having the datum structure on your mind will keep you from making simple mistakes such as clamping the datum face with a movable jaw instead of the fixed jaw. I've seen a 30 year machinist do this repeatedly, which forced him to indicate and probe every part in order for them to come out right. If he would have simply rotated the part 180 degrees so the datum was against the fixed jaw, he wouldn't have had to teach every part. It's an easy thing to see that if your datums are allowed to float, then you will constantly be fighting to make a good part. But I've seen people overlook this countless times. Paying attention to the datum structure will also benefit you if you're machining material that is prone to warp from stress. A lot of people will tell you to establish your datums first, then machine everything to those datums. But if you're machining a material that has a lot of stress in it, then you will never make a good part by establishing the datums first. Because if you machine your datum to size and rough a bunch of material and finish everything else, your datum will more than likely be bowed or shifted. Personally, I like to rough everything before I start finishing, or at least as much as possible. I've had a lot of parts where I had to rough side one, flip it rough side two, flip it back over to finish side one, and then flip it one last time to finish side two. This is pretty common with aerospace parts and by paying attention to the datum structure, it will help you determine which side to rough first and which side to finish last. Because the last thing you want to do is finish your datums and there still be a lot of stress in the material when you start finishing other features. GD&T has been around for decades, but I still see shops that completely disregard it on drawings because they haven't been educated on what it all means and why we use it. GD&T can get confusing and hard to decipher at times, but you need to understand that all those symbols you see on a drawing is not there to make it look pretty. They are absolutely crucial for the form, fit, and function of the part or assembly. And it is very important for you to learn and understand what it all means. As a young machinist, you need to learn all you can about GD&T and how it can affect how you process a part. Learning this will elevate you to the next level. And the better you get at it, the more successful you will be at machining complex parts where other shops will fail. Anyone can throw a piece of material in a machine and make something that resembles the drawing but not everyone is going to do it and hit the tolerances at the same time. Processing your part with the primary focus on the datum structure is the first step in high level machining. Thanks for watching. Leave me a comment below and tell me, what is your primary focus when you first receive a drawing? Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll see y'all next time.